nothing lifts the darkness like the light of Jesus Christ. Nothing. And there's a lot of darkness in our world. Some of that darkness is, you know, a natural disaster. A tornado hits you suddenly in the middle of the night. And that brings with it just a little bit of darkness. There's the darkness of financial reversal, for example. Things were going well, now they're not. That brings its own set of darkness. But I think the most common, the most pervasive type of darkness that I think we deal with is spiritual darkness. And it's incredibly pervasive. A lot of people, man, we are a people who are searching for light to navigate that spiritual darkness like crazy right now. And it may be that for some of you, you grew up in church and you kind of feel like you've heard all that Sunday school had to offer and you, you've sort of checked all of those little boxes and it's left you wanting more. And so you've gone out on your own search for light in any way that you can find it. And around our, our country right now, the number of people who consider themselves to be spiritual but not religious, that number is absolutely exploding. People are searching for light. And it's just interesting that, that we're turning to technology to help us with this. Technology that sometimes can seem to supplant the divine is something that people are relying on to help find light in the midst of darkness. And people are willing to tap into anything, man. Mediums, spirits, you name it. Just to try to bring a little bit of light into their life. And so I just want to take just a couple of moments today and give you a biblical perspective on this search for light as we head into Christmas, this Christmas season. In fact, I would submit to you that kind of the centerpiece of the whole Christmas story is the coming of light into this world. Maybe you grew up in church, as I said before, and you went through Sunday school and everything you learned there just doesn't seem to be cutting it. And so now you're out looking for light, man. And you're searching everywhere you can find. And what you don't realize is that the more and more you search, the deeper and deeper into the darkness it pulls you. And Isaiah says, listen, I get it. I know that you're frustrated because darkness is all around you. But I want you to know that the day will come when the light of God is going to shine and shine brightly. And it may not seem like it right now, but it's true. And there's hope. And God has been working from the beginning of time all the way through now and all the way into eternity to declare and to bring the light of hope. There's hope. And there's light. And if you think about it, isn't that the story of the entire Bible? And I don't know if you've noticed it, but you can take uh, Genesis chapters 1 through 3, the beginning of the Bible, and you can go over to Revelation, the last couple of chapters of Revelation. And if you were to read Genesis, I encourage you to do this today. Just read the first three chapters of Genesis and read the last couple of chapters of Revelation. And if you just put them right together and read from one to the other, you know what you find. You find that God creates the heavens and the earth, and he creates Adam and Eve to be in a relationship with him. And he establishes them in the Garden of Eden, and they're there among, uh, with God and with the tree of life. It's, it's, just, it's great and it's wonderful. And then the serpent shows up, and they're tempted, and they fall. And they're cast out of the garden, and it seems hopeless. And then if you skip from there to the end of Revelation, you know what you find? Satan is defeated. And the new heaven and the new earth descend. And the city of the new Jerusalem is established. And you know what a city is? It's just a collection of what? A collection of gardens. Right? And so now all the people who love God are together with God around his throne. And they live in his light forever. You know what the message of the Bible is? God wins. And darkness is defeated. And the light of God is going to shine. God gets his way. That's the story of Scripture. And you and I, we are currently living in between Genesis 3 and Revelation 20. Okay? We're living right in the middle of all of that. That's where we are. And it's easy to lose hope because of the darkness. But nothing lifts the darkness of the light like the light of Jesus Christ. Nothing. And you and I today, we don't need to look at every philosophy that comes along. And we don't need to look at technology to point us in the right direction because God himself is bringing light into the darkness. And this week, we're going to celebrate the occasion of his birth. And it's going to be great. 
And we're celebrating the realization of Isaiah's promise that God will be faithful and he will send light into the darkness. And how does incredible light come? Well, the child brings it. Do you see that? And this child, the son of God, what will he be? He will be, and look at it, he will be given to us. So here we are in this midst of this season of darkness and so many people are looking for the light and people are spiritually hungry and they're looking everywhere they can to try and find light. But there's only one light that can truly save us and that's the light that Jesus himself brings. He himself is the light of the world. If I want real light to illuminate my own spiritual darkness, I'm going to have to receive the gift that is Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And you can search on TikTok, and you can check out every app, but nothing you find will ever compare to Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And God offers you this light as a free gift. And the challenge is that to receive this free gift is you've got to say, God, I need to receive that gift. And the challenge before you, before me today is, will you receive the gift of Jesus Christ? So I want to just give you a moment. Just go ahead and just bow your heads where you are and just contend with that question. And it may be that you're far from God at this moment. Maybe you're raised in church, but over your lifetime, you've been looking for light in all kinds of places. It may be that you've got every app on your phone right now that I was referring to a moment ago. It may be that you've seen every TikTok video on how to connect with mediums and spirits and the whole bit. But will you contend with the reality that you need to receive the gift of Jesus Christ? And that the truth about the light that will dispel your spiritual darkness comes only from God and is found only through His Son, Jesus Christ. He's the light of the world. If you would be willing to receive the gift of Jesus Christ today, you have to admit that you need it. So, you can simply pray something simple like this. Dear God, I know that I am a sinner and that I need to be forgiven. I know that by my own actions I am cut off from you and I'm asking to receive your redemption and your forgiveness. And Father, I accept that Jesus Christ is my wonderful counselor, my mighty God my everlasting Father, my Prince of Peace. God, may I receive the light of the world this day. Dear Father, thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for the people assembled in this space. Thank you for those who are near to you and for those who are far from you. And I pray that today is the day that all of us turn and embrace Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And we pray this in his name. And everyone agreed and said,